The Red Cross of Serbia has been actively dedicated to combating human trafficking with administrative and technical support from the Danish Red Cross, financed by the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs through the Norwegian Red Cross since December 2005 when it became a member of the National Team for Combating Human Trafficking. Guided by the seriousness of the problem and the fact that almost everyone can become a victim, but also by the fact that everyone can contribute to the prevention of the serious issue, the basic and most important role of the Red Cross of Serbia is prevention. That includes educating individuals and groups to recognize the problem, its forms and various ways of tricking people into the human trafficking chain. The education and training program focuses on developing knowledge and skills to confront this issue, the proper way to react to it and inform the authorities about the existence of the problem using a mixture of materials and approaches that allow for different learning styles of the participants. The key to the success of our organization in this field is peer education. Thanks to this method, the Red Cross of Serbia conducts trainings in over 70 local branches through a network of trained volunteers, mostly young ones. From 2006 to 2009, young volunteers conveyed information about the issue and the ways to protect more than 60,000 potentially vulnerable individuals. Children and youth in schools, orphanages, centers for refugees and internally displaced people, Roma settlements and soup kitchens. This number has risen even higher over the past few years. Thanks to the hard and dedicated work of the staff and volunteers of the Red Cross, and following the needs and the demands that have risen while preparing and conducting the training process, the volunteers of the Red Cross have gained additional knowledge and experience about the most efficient teaching methods, which they have generously shared and summed up. Thanks to the effort of the volunteers, many ideas have been gathered for a better and improved manual for peer educators. Today we have the pleasure to present the manual Human Trafficking Prevention Kit that was developed thanks to the initiative and dedication of our active volunteers whose enthusiasm and commitment have contributed to the quality of the content and attractive appearance of the prevention kit. The manual you have in front of you is easy to read and has an appealing layout. The two predominant colors, gray and red, are dynamically contrasted to stress the gravity of the issue. The emphasis is on visual presentation and the text is short and concise. We are proud to present the unique design created by our volunteers with mannequins as the main theme. The mannequins are selected as a motive since the victims of human trafficking are treated as objects deprived of every feature of humanity. The mannequins look human but lack human agency. Placed in shop windows, their sole purpose is to enhance the sale of goods bringing higher profit to their owners. This reflects the position of a victim of human trafficking. The mannequin from the cover page, deprived of any forms of communication, is wrapped in torn newspaper ads to symbolize the wish for a better future and tied with a rope and police tape. The tape itself is a symbol of a hidden crime that leaves the victim with severe physical and psychological consequences. The crack on the head of the mannequin signifies that the psychological consequences are more severe than any type of physical injury. The vivid but sad eyes that beg for help are the only feature of a human being and the rest of the mannequin points out that it is deprived of its human rights and dignity. The trafficker can be anyone, a person from your surroundings, a new acquaintance, a friendly neighbor, a person who, if needed, puts on a mask of concern, worry, thoughtfulness, happiness or seriousness with a single goal, to achieve his or her own benefits through exploitation of the victim. The victim of trafficking can be anyone, a man, a woman, a child. But most frequently, those are the people who are socially most vulnerable. What all the victims have in common is that they are denied their human rights and that they are exposed to cruel physical and psychological abuse daily. Human trafficking includes the recruitment phase in which the potential victim is subject to the promises of the recruiter, the transit phase in which the victim reaches the place of exploitation, and the final phase, the exploitation phase in which the control over the victims is so harsh that they are like puppets in the hands of the trafficker. The last image depicts the rescue from the human trafficking chain. The mask, which symbolizes slavery and treatment of a human being as an object, is torn and the frightened person that hides underneath reveals itself. The victim is now awarded with dignity and humanity. The manual follows the developed teaching material that enables peer educators to present the serious social issue to target groups in an appropriate way. For this purpose, two board games were developed. 1-2-3 from home to school, which has a goal to advise the youngest ones to act appropriately in situations that are unfamiliar to them and avoid the risk. It is designed for ages 6 and older. 
For adolescents, a board game called Trafeto was designed in order to motivate and encourage them to learn more about this issue. The entire material, with the help of our donors, was prepared by the Red Cross volunteers and staff directly involved in the implementation of the program. Special gratitude goes to the professors of the Academy of Criminalistic and Police Studies, as well as the Ministry of Internal Affairs, who gave a positive review and supported the publication of this manual.